everybody, it's Roger from Roger's Reviews, and today we're going to be talking about the old boot dryer. And you can pick these up at like Harbor Freight, you can order them online, they're not very expensive. They're basically like a glorified <coughs> hair dryer, but these things are amazing because <coughs> I've had, it saved a lot of my boots um, from moisture problems, and whenever you're doing tree work, you usually work in the rain. And sometimes you step in mud puddles, sometimes you have to wade in the water. You never know what you're going to get into. And if you have a nice pair of boots, it pretty much ruins them uh, once you step into like a swamp or something really nasty. And <clears throat> you have to go buy yourself a pair of brand new boots. Or if you work in the rain all day and your feet just get saturated and say you do step in some deep water, it's clean, but the suits get, the shoes get boots get sopped clear down to the insoles well these are my uh, uh, Timberland pros I really like them and I'm trying to keep them uh, as long as I can and I stopped I stopped wearing socks a few months ago and kind of ruined the boots so we had to really soak them bleach them just really clean them up and uh, soak them to the bone and uh, you can either sit them outside for a long period of time or you can put them on one of these boot dryers. And even if they're soaked, usually if you leave it on, if you as soon as you get home from work, you put it on one of these and put it on the uh, the heated setting, you can usually dry your, boot, your boots out overnight. And um, I also like to carry, uh, keep two pairs of boots and tra um, transition, uh, kind of alternate between boots. And then that way you can put this on the boot dryer and the next day wear your other pair of boots and just keep swapping them out because believe it or not there's a lot of moisture and sweat um, perspiration through your feet um, and they usually collect in your socks and what happens is that moisture even though it's a small amount it starts to accumulate in your boots and eventually your boots start stinking and then pretty soon you can't get the stink out of them um, and I've noticed that if you do use a heat uh, a dryer even if you don't think your feet are wet, just to dry them out and put the heat on there just for, you know, it doesn't have to be overnight. You can set it on the timer. If you look down at the bottom here, it has a timer. So and it also has an on off switch for your heat. So you can just put it on, <clears throat> on airflow or you can put it on heat and then you can time it for, you know, like whatever, 10 or 20 minutes, an hour or all night. <clears throat> but, uh, I like to put my boots on here, um, even when it's not, uh, you know, raining out, just to keep the moisture down. So I recommend that if you have a, if you guys work in boots, no matter what, get one of these. And they don't really make much noise. Um, that's the heating element. So you just crank it, however long you want it, and then uh, you can either have cool air or heat. And it doesn't make a lot of noise and then you can uh, actually put if you have enough like what I usually do is I, I'll just put my boots on these these are like the for the shoes but they work the same is this nice when you have the uh, boot adapter which is just basically just pops right off and then you can put it on either one basically it's just an extension you could probably put a piece of PVC or something on there if you have longer boots if you don't have a, some of these and uh, it basically just allows the boot to go all the way down in um, which I mean you can probably do almost as much just by uh, putting it on there but it's kind of nice to have it uh, stand up above the heater I would like to have two more of these but uh, I never really went through the process of finding them and I didn't even realize these were separate until after I bought it so <clears throat> but uh, I would, wouldn't pay any more than like 40 bucks, but I think I got this one for like either 19 or $29 at Harbor Freight, and they usually have sales all the time, so but I recommend uh, picking these up, <clears throat> you know, or for your guys, uh, if your guys uh, basically give them, give them to for gifts, but if anybody wears boots, they definitely need some of these, especially boots, and they wear them outside. If you don't wear them outside, it's still a good idea just to heat them up and dry them out and kill all that bacteria 
that's in your boots that makes them stink. So definitely, uh, everybody will thank you for getting a, foot, uh, getting a, boot, a boot dryer and a shoe dryer. And you can also put your gloves on here or anything that gets wet slides over. And I've had this probably for a couple years now and it's never let me down. It's pretty generic, pretty cheaply made, just baby it and it'll last you for years. Anyway, this is Roger with Roger's Reviews on the uh, boot and glove dryer that you can get pretty inexpensively. And I highly recommend them. They're great and uh, they'll give you many more years of life out of your boots and your gloves and your shoes. All right. If you like this video, crush the like button and subscribe. And I'll bring you more stuff that will help you make a better buying decision if you decide to get some of this. Have a great day. You're awesome.